we are going to focus on some of the main ideas related to Karl Marx. First, the introduction, then we move to the general context and the environment, personal background, Marx's theory of history. Then in the second part of this lecture, we are going to focus on major economic ideas. So let's start with an introduction. Karl Marx was not just an economist, but also a philosopher, sociologist, and revolutionist. So we can say that the background of Karl Marx is not just economics. Karl Marx has been a holistic scientist. His writing inspired generations of economic thinkers, and in his name, entire societies were transformed. And here we can remember the former communist countries in Eastern Europe. Then, if we talk about the general context and the environment at the time of the evolution of the ideas of Karl Marx, we have some factors that shaped the general context and the environment at that time. Now we are talking about the mid 19th century. At that time, we have more advances in technology. The criticism of classical economics by socialists, mainly the French socialists. The rise of materialism and how man shapes history. And the rise of the German historical school and the importance of history in explaining economic ideas and the evolution of these ideas. Then, what about the personal background that shaped the ideas of Karl Marx. Karl Marx was personally influenced by some factors. Among these factors were he started by studying law, then his interest in philosophy increased, he was largely influenced by Hegelian philosophy, the French utopian thought as well, the French socialist thought then he worked in journalism with his revolution ideas and finally he was largely inspired by the economic ideas of David Ricardo though David Ricardo is a famous classical economist then we move to one of the most important contributions by Marcus which is his theory of history Marxian thought combines Hegelian philosophy, French utopian thought, and classical political economy, particularly Ricardian thought, as we mentioned before. Marx's analysis of capitalism is an application to his time of a theory of history derived from Hegel. This theory is known as the dialectic or the debate. According to the dialectic, the history moves in a straight line. We have at first a thesis that is conflicted with an antithesis, finally resulting in a thin thesis. And such thin thesis will be considered a new thesis for the next time in history. Although Marcus and Hegel have adopted the same approach with a dialectic approach, but we can find a major difference between Hegel and Karl Marcus. Karl Marcus was a dialectical materialistic while Hegel was a dialectical idealistic where all the history according to Marcus evolves around the man around the matter all history according to Hegel evolves around the idea Marcus believed that all societies except classless societies can be divided analytically into two parts the forces of production or technology which is inherently dynamic and the relations of production which is inherently static due to social substructure where social substructure represents what it represents religion art and all forms of culture according to market theory of history the society will evolve from feudalism to capitalism then socialism and finally communism so according to the theory we can say that capitalism has some contradictions that will result in its self-destruction 
all over the time. So will be according to Marx stage in history that will pass and then we go to socialism and finally the end of history with communism which is considered a classless society. Thanks so much.